Hi, my name is Alessandro Gandirosi and that's a new tip tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. Um, this time I'd like to, to talk about uh, something around the material libraries and the uh, uh, material browser. Uh, in the previous version, in the 3ds Max 2010, uh, we had the, uh, the old um, material uh, browser, so you remember that we had the possibility, for example, to enter in, inside the material browser, this one, and there was no problem to save, for example, and to open the material libraries. So we can go there inside the browser from, and we have the possibility to open, merge, or save, or save as the actual library. So actually we have no, uh, no material, but you know that, for example, we can create uh, a material uh, like that, and there we can put something, for example, this one, and now we can call it test shader and when we go there inside the material library we have the possibility to uh, for example select the material li uh, material editor and or you see we have also the possibility to assign this shader this material to uh, mesh so there we can uh, make uh, the selected selection there and we can save as the uh, library using a, a name in the MAT file format. In 3ds Max 2011, the staffs are different because we have the new uh, um, the new material editor, the Slate material editor, but uh, we have the new material browser. So let's go there. Let's call the material map browser. So we have this new version. And this new version is uh, maybe better for a lot of things, but we have the problem that there we have the possibility just to open or to create a new a, a material library. So you see we can create a new material library or we can open a material library, but there's no way to create to save the material library from there. So uh, let's think, for example, that we have a material library, so let's uh, maybe open it using a scene and we can go for example inside a, a folder where we have some 3ds max scene inside the folder we can change the file types from mat and we can uh, split uh, and we can uh, choose the max file so let's open the last uh, tutorial I prepared for CG Cookie. we can say open and you see that now we have um, Let's make more space there. Uh, now we have the possibility to uh, to have this library. You see that there we have the lib um, uh, name and uh, and the name for the max file we uh, we open, and we have there the material inside the scene. So that's a library. And now we have the possibility to save this library. So we can uh, click uh, with the mouse with the right mouse button. And you see that we have the possibility to go there on the name of the file and we have the possibility to reload or to save as and then we can choose again the mat file format and the file folder where we like to to put the material library the same thing is the, if we like to create a material library so we can go there new material library and let's call it a uh, test library okay Let's close this one, and you see that there we have uh, the material library, and we can, uh, for example, uh, put this material there. So you see we have this material, and then we can copy, for example, this one, and this one. So we have a library made of material just using the material map browser, and then the same thing. I can select the test library using the right mouse button. And we can go there inside the name uh, that it's a default name for the moment. And we can say save as and we can save it where we like on our workstation and we can use the mat file format so that's the uh, the simplest way to save the libraries inside the new material map browser in 3ds max 2011 so that's uh, just a really fast tip to understand how the uh, material map browser changed before uh, uh, with the new version and the old version and how to find the old commands inside the new the new user interface and the new feature set 
So for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie for check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.